Pambo. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Asante yeah. <laughs> uh, sana, President. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I belong to the continent. I'm an African son of the Floyd. Um, I'm very thankful for the invite from the President uh, and the team younger to to bring you over here to come experience Tanzania in a in a different way. But I must also thank the important uh, dignitaries here, the VP, the, uh, the media, you guys, the whole staff, and uh, uh, your guest, President from uh, from Uganda, our friends. Uh, yeah, and uh, everybody addressed and all the protocols uh, uh, res uh, respected. Yeah, um, it's an honor for me to be part of the Wiki um, uh, Wanawanchi. Uh, it's an honor, to be honest. Um, it's a good opportunity because for the last 21 years I've been heavily involved in football every day, every week, you know. So now I found a month free and uh, how nice and, and honorable it is to be invited in Tanzania. Uh, thank you, President. I've always been in Tanzania. I think it's the fourth time or third time I've been in Tanzania. But I've, I've come here in different roles. Uh, three times I came here for football and all I've been doing is, is the airport, the hotel, this training pitch, and the stadium. So now I'm, look, I'm coming to see Tanzania different. Of course I've been in Tanzania, I was here last year with my family, but we were in Zanzibar and then I had to bring them over I well, telling the president I had to bring them over to the mainland so that they must experience Tanzania in in a different way. Because when you're in Zanzia, we're having fun a lot. It's all about the beach and the ocean. But when you come to the mainland, you learn about the culture, the history of Tanzania. And I brought my family here. And we even went to the museum we were sharing the, the message with the president so that you come here and you know where we are because I'm from South Africa. And Tanzania has been big brothers to us, uh, you know, politically, that uh, most of the South African uh, uh, politicians uh, who really gave us an opportunity to have a free South Africa were based here. And, and when I get this uh, um, invite to be here, it's not all about football, it's about also respecting the land that has giving us an opportunity in South Africa to have uh, uh, the freedom that we have. And Tanzania played a very big role. So it's not all about football, life first and then the football after. So I want to thank everybody here for, for being around and uh, coming to listen to us. Well, for me, the most important thing is the, the week of Monanchi, uh, to experience it differently. Um, to share the space with the uh, younger uh, in a different way where we we touch important things. Uh, I've been briefed about the things that we're gonna do today and I think first of all is you guys here and then I see the little boys kicking the ball around. So there's a lot of um, social responsibility that the uh, younger is doing. It's not all about football, it's about showing that they care you know i'm i'm happy to be part of that program not only the program of uh, going to the match um so on the table yeah. no no we can use the two of them two of this them. is for the table okay good yeah um yeah and uh, of course the main thing the game eh? i think we all want to see what happens but i must i've just congratulated the coach here yeah? assistant coach for unbelievable season that they had. Uh, they won the treble. 
Uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, I hope my facts are right, but I, I know that they won the league. I know they won the the cup also. Am I yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, you're right. Yes, and uh, the charity. The charity, yes. So it's a travel. I was telling the coach. I said, uh, in my life, I won the travel three times. I remember the the first travel I won with my former team, my Melody Sundowns. It had uh, the Super Africa Super Cup, it had the Champions League, and it had the league. So after that, uh, Mr. Coach, after that I was under pressure because what else do you have to, to do? You have raised <laughs> the standards very high and high expectations, you know? And you can always do better because if you don't do better, then it means you haven't improved. So it's a very, very difficult situation to be put on as a coach. But uh, why not? Let's let's push the boundaries. Let's let's get whatever we can get to win, and bring the spirit of younger, uh, uh, and bring them back. I I think some of you, the genos who are really following the game, I was surprised to see the turn up from the airport and the streets of the celebrations of the supporters of younger was unbelievable. I had to retweet about it. If you remember, I don't know when was it, to say this is the spirit of football. This is how you celebrate success and victories and was unbelievable for for the world to know, you know? Because uh, I know the rival, there's a big rivalry here in, in the country in terms of football, but there's a rivalry anywhere in the world. I come from a team uh, one of the biggest teams, I think the biggest team, you will all know that, in the continent. And you know the rivalry between al Ahly and Zamalek. I've been in those games about six times and it has been so big that you, you ask yourself how big can it be? And also the rivalry of going to 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 Esperance Tunis in, and, and go there and win. The rivalry of going to, to Morocco and we dart and we go there and win. You know, and the rivalry of going to to Algeria, where you face Satif, you you face um, uh, U.S. Ma, you face all these big clubs, and you go there and win. You go to Raja, and you do you go there and succeed. So I've been blessed to have traveled all these uh, spaces uh, uh, in my life, and uh, yes, thanks God that. Uh, the little bit of achievements we have achieved, we can never be boastful of, but we need to be grateful of what football has given us and given me as an African African child, because most of the time um, Africa is led by Europeans. And uh, it's always good to when the Africans win. I think you won with an African coach, yeah, if I'm not sure. mistaken. Tunisian. Tunisian is African, you know? So Africa must look after Africa. And we have a lot of talent and potential in Africa. We need to believe in, in Africa because most of the time we believe we don't have. But uh, yeah, I am, uh, I've won most of the titles in Africa and, uh, and I'm African, you know? And I was the first African, I can say sub-Saharan also, African coach since 1904 for the establishment of al that I've stepped in that role. And for the last two years, I think we've got uh, everything that we, that al hasn't achieved in the last six, seven years. We went to the two World Cups. Uh, we beat Palmeiras, the, the, the strongest team from South America, Conan Ball, that represents Argentina, Brazil. I think you know all the big players who are coming from there. And we went to Asia, we played uh, Hilal, Al Hilal, the champions of Asia, we, we managed to beat them. We beat the champions of uh, uh, Central American Afri uh, continent, where, which is represented by, by Mexico. We managed to do that. Uh, but I, I've always been stopped by, by the champions of, of, of Europe. You know, I lost to Bayern Munich. I think you saw it for 2-0 and all that. Uh, that's the last step that I would have really, really loved to do in my 
inter-club career, go to the final of the World Cup. But the rest we have managed to achieve. The Champions League, we've been for the last five Champions League, we've been there for four times and we've won it three times. So it's, it's a really a blessing for an African coach to do that. We've got two bronze medals, we brought the two more medals for Africa in the World Cup as the third best team in the world. We have achieved all those things and we don't want to talk about the leagues and the Champions League. You have the whole history about it. So it's, it's really an honor and a pleasure for me to be part of this, this team, the history of this team. It's a big team. Uh, Yanga is not only a big team in Tanzania, we all know it in Africa. And now they're stepping, stepping into, into KEF. And uh, I know the really, really the tough stories about KEF. An easy coach, just win at home, you should be okay. <laughs> you know, that's that's the recipe. Win at home, and uh, somewhere, somehow, outside, if you are in a group, if you can get two draws, that's it. You got nine points for home. You got two draws away. Eleven, you are through. Okay, so you don't have to win everything. The president will forgive you if you lose <laughs> the other two games. You know. Yes, that's that's the that's the recipe. So I've been in that space for the last uh, twelve years, and. Uh, I know how difficult it is, but I just want to say thank you everybody for being here, for us to listen to, to me and uh, obviously we should not take away the week of Mwananchi. That's why, that's why we, are, we are here. And the other things that uh, the President was speaking that I'm doing, I can talk about them later, but I want to respect the space first about the week of, uh, week of Mwananchi. So probably with few channels who wants to know what I'm doing now, because now I'm on special leave. I have decided uh, to terminate my contract with al I had two-year contract. We extended after we winning all those things. But I felt that uh, uh, with achievements that we have done in the last uh, two years uh, and missing home and also taking a break, because 21 years into this thing is not a child's play every time. And you must know, in my space, from Mamiluri Sundowns to where I am with Alakli, it's been really 12 years of playing a game every third day. Just imagine, every three days you have a football game and then you travel also. It has been too much for me. It has been too hectic. Yes, so it's not nice for me to leave Alakli. I think you follow in the social media. They are not happy that I left. But uh, I said, uh, inshallah, we meet again. So I had to take a break and uh, this is how I'm spending my break. Thank you, President. Thank you.